In the early 1900s, radium emerged as a technological marvel, captivating the world with its mesmerizing glow-in-the-dark properties. This newfound element, discovered just two decades prior, held immense promise for various applications, particularly in watchmaking. The ability to illuminate watch dials in the dark was a revolutionary concept, and factories quickly adopted radium-based paint to meet the surging demand for these luminous timepieces. Hundreds of young women, eager to contribute to the war effort and earn a living, flocked to factories like the United States Radium Corporation and the Radium Dial Company. They were tasked with the meticulous work of painting watch dials with radium paint, a job that was initially perceived as glamorous and even prestigious. Little did they know that this seemingly harmless task would expose them to a silent killer lurking within the luminous paint. These women, often barely out of their teens, were instructed to use a technique known as lip, dip, paint. This method involved using their lips to draw a fine point on their brushes, ensuring precision when applying the radium paint to the tiny watch dials. Unaware of the dangers of ingesting radium, the women unknowingly subjected themselves to dangerous levels of radiation with every delicate lick of the brush. The work environment in these factories was far from safe. Radium dust, an invisible threat, permeated the air, settling on the women's clothes, hair and skin. They often went home with glowing hands and faces, a testament to the constant exposure to radioactive material. Some even used the luminous paint to adorn their nails and teeth, captivated by its ethereal glow. The companies, however, were well aware of the potential dangers of radium. Executives and scientists took precautions, handling the element with lead shields and tongs, minimizing their own exposure. Yet, they chose to keep their workers in the dark, failing to provide them with any protective gear or warnings about the health risks involved. The profit motive overshadowed any concern for the well-being of these young women. The demand for luminous watches was high and the companies were eager to capitalize on this lucrative market. Their negligence and disregard for worker safety would have devastating consequences. As months turned into years, the insidious effects of radium poisoning began to manifest in the women who worked with the luminous paint. Initially, they experienced fatigue, anemia and dental problems. Teeth loosened and fell out, gums became inflamed, and excruciating pain plagued their jaws. These symptoms, however, were just the tip of the iceberg. A horrifying condition known as radium jaw emerged, causing the jaw bones of the women to literally disintegrate. The radium they had ingested accumulated in their bones, emitting constant radiation that weakened and destroyed the bone tissue. Tumors developed in their mouths, jaws and other parts of their bodies, leading to immense suffering and disfigurement. The women, once vibrant and full of life, were now grappling with debilitating illnesses and agonizing pain. Their bodies, once sources of strength and vitality, were betrayed by the very substance that had initially promised them a brighter future. As the health of the radium girls deteriorated, the companies involved resorted to a campaign of denial and deception. They dismissed the women's ailments as unrelated to their work, attributing their symptoms to everything from poor hygiene to syphilis, a stigmatized disease at the time. Company doctors, complicit in this cover-up, conducted biased examinations, manipulating findings to protect their employers. They downplayed the severity of the women's conditions, intimidated them into silence, and even falsified medical records to conceal the true extent of the radium poisoning. This callous disregard for the well-being of their workers fueled public outrage as news of the radium girl's plight began to spread. The women, once silenced by fear and intimidation, found their voices determined to expose the truth and fight for justice. The fight for recognition and justice. The Radium Girls faced an uphill battle against powerful corporations and a system that often favored employers over workers. Undeterred, they united, sharing their stories, supporting each other and seeking legal recourse. Their struggle for recognition and justice became a testament to their courage and resilience. One of the first to step forward was Grace Fryer, a former dial painter at USRC. Despite facing skepticism and resistance, she relentlessly sought a lawyer willing to take on the corporation. Her perseverance paid off when she found an ally in Raymond Berry, a young attorney who recognized the injustice inflicted upon these women. Grace's case, filed in 1927, marked the beginning of a landmark legal battle that would challenge corporate power and reshape labor laws. 
Other radium girls followed suit, filing lawsuits against the companies that had poisoned them and robbed them of their health. Landmark legal battles and precedents. The legal battles that ensued were arduous and emotionally draining for the radium girls. Many were already gravely ill, their bodies ravaged by radium poisoning, yet they bravely faced their corporate adversaries in court, determined to hold them accountable for their actions. The companies, however, employed every tactic to delay and derail the lawsuits. They used their vast resources to hire powerful lawyers, manipulate evidence and discredit the women's claims. The legal system, often slow and bureaucratic, proved to be another obstacle in their pursuit of justice. Despite these challenges, the Radium Girls persevered. Their case garnered national attention, capturing the public's imagination and garnering sympathy for their plight. The media played a crucial role in amplifying their voices, exposing the unethical practices of the companies and putting pressure on the courts to deliver justice. A legacy of workplace safety. The Radium Girls' fight for justice had a profound and lasting impact on workplace safety regulations and labour laws. Their case highlighted the inadequacies of existing legislation and the need for stronger protections for workers, especially those handling hazardous materials. The legal precedent set by their cases led to significant reforms in the United States and beyond. New laws were enacted to regulate the use of radium and other radioactive substances, setting safety standards and requiring employers to inform workers of the risks involved. The Radium Girls' legacy also extends to the field of occupational health. Their experiences spurred advancements in the understanding and treatment of radiation poisoning. Their cases became invaluable case studies for scientists and medical professionals, leading to improved diagnostic tools and treatment protocols. The Enduring Impact of the Radium Girls The Radium Girls' story continues to resonate today, serving as a stark reminder of the human cost of corporate greed and the importance of worker rights. Their courage, resilience and unwavering pursuit of justice continue to inspire activists, labour organisers and advocates for social change. Their legacy is particularly relevant in an era where workplace safety is often compromised for the sake of profit. The Radium Girls story reminds us that the pursuit of economic gain should never come at the expense of human life and well-being. Their sacrifice paved the way for safer workplaces and stronger worker protections. Their story serves as a powerful reminder that every worker deserves a safe and healthy work environment free from the threat of preventable illnesses and injuries, remembering their sacrifice. The Radium Girls' story is a testament to the indomitable spirit of ordinary women who, despite facing unimaginable adversity, found the strength to fight for their rights and the well-being of others. Their legacy transcends their tragic fate, serving as a beacon of hope and inspiration for generations to come. It is our responsibility to remember their sacrifice, to learn from their experiences and to honour their memory by continuing the fight for workplace justice and equity. We must never forget the lessons learned from the Radium Girls' tragic story. Their fight may be over, but their legacy lives on in every worker who demands safe working conditions, every advocate who fights for corporate accountability, and every individual who refuses to be silenced in the face of injustice. Lessons for the future. The Radium Girls' story holds valuable lessons for the future. It highlights the importance of vigilance, transparency, and accountability in the workplace. It underscores the need for strong labour unions and worker advocacy groups to protect the rights of those who often have little power to speak out against unsafe working conditions. Furthermore, it emphasises the crucial role of government regulation in protecting public health and safety. Without adequate regulations and enforcement mechanisms, corporations may prioritise profit over people, putting workers and communities at risk. The Radium Girls' legacy serves as a timeless reminder that the pursuit of progress and innovation should never come at the expense of human life. We must strive to create a future where the well-being of workers is paramount and where the mistakes of the past are never repeated. If you found this story compelling, please like, subscribe and hit the notification button. Share your thoughts in the comments below. Let's continue the conversation and ensure these lessons are never forgotten.